Yo, 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 what's cracking, Panther Nation? It is Rashad, one half of Panther Nation PC, and today we are here to do one of my favorite series ever on this show, and that is Sign or Walk. Y'all yeah, know I love the offseason, I love the cap, I love everything about building, team building, okay? I, this is where I look at things a little bit differently than most, okay? A lot of people look at it from X's and O's standpoint, but don't understand the financial components. I'm here to combine all of that. And here in the Sign of Walk series, this is where we take all the unrestricted free agents and we break it down. Should we re-sign them or should we let them walk, okay? Uh, and listen, it makes it really interesting this year because we have a new head coach that's gonna be new schemes. Uh, do, do they fit with what they're trying to do? And so here today, we're gonna answer all of those questions. And we're gonna start out with one of my favorite players, Dante Foreman. Now, before we get into this, man, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, get in the comments. Let me know what is good. Fam, we are so close to 20,000 subscribers. We got like a month and a half to get there before the draft starts. I wanna get to 20K before the draft starts. We'll be the first independent Panther content creators on YouTube to hit 20K. Let's make that happen. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. All right, let's go ahead and get into down to Foreman. Sign a walk. All right, so as you can see, we take a look at it from several different components. The production, we're gonna look at the past production. We're gonna look at his age. Position value, is the value of the position he plays valuable, right? Injury history, asking price, and is his production replaceable? We're gonna answer all those questions, and then at the end, we're going to say, hey, we should sign, re-sign this player, or we should let him walk, okay? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the 2022-2023 season for Dante Foreman, all right? All right, let's go ahead and get into the pro football focus grades. He had an overall score of 73.1, a rushing score of 76.5, and a receiving grade of 52.4. The context behind that receiving grade is that, hey, he only was targeted nine times, five receptions, so that grade is gonna be a little low. It kinda is what it is there. Uh, now let's take a look at these rushing numbers because there's a lot to dig in here with the rushing numbers. 203 carries, um, 914 yards, five touchdowns. Now the, the, the interesting thing behind this is that Christian McCaffrey, before he was traded, was getting all of the, the all of the snaps. Right, he was getting all the snaps. Uh, Deontay Foreman was was rarely getting on the field, right, and was rarely touching the ball when he was out there. Okay. So when Christian McCaffrey was traded, Deontay Foreman took over. That was about 11 games, okay? This is 11 full games worth of stats. To, let's keep it a buck, okay? And this is what I tried to tell y'all back when we had Christian McCaffrey. When we had Christian McCaffrey, I said it's all about opportunity. The more the player is touching the football, the more opportunity he's gonna have. If you give another running back the same opportunity that Christian McCaffrey had, the numbers would be comparable. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Because guess what? If you take those numbers that, that Deontay Foreman was putting up and you extrapolate them over uh, 17 games, guess what? Deontay Foreman is going to have a 1,395-yard season. Sounds familiar, huh? Doesn't it? That's what I've been saying. And that doesn't even include, because guess what? Deontay Foreman was splitting snaps with, snaps with uh, Chuba Hubbard. When Christian McCaffrey was on the field, he wasn't splitting snaps with anybody. So this doesn't even include Chuba Hubbard's numbers. So let's keep it a buck. This is what I've been trying to tell y'all. And it's going to get really interesting when we talk about numbers later on. And you can see where I was coming from. Y'all yeah, don't want me to really pod on this, okay? But if you look at the, uh, the, the all-purpose yards, 208 touches total, 940 yards, and six total touchdowns. Again, Deontay Foreman had a great season. Shout out to Steve Wilkes for completing, com completely changing the offensive strategy and going run first. And uh, it, it was successful. We were able to get a couple of wins, and Deontay Foreman was, was, had an opportunity to, to show uh, what he was all about. And he, cont he continued what he was doing with the Titans. So this is a good look uh, for Deontay Foreman. Had a really fantastic season. All right. So with that said, Deontay Foreman checks the production box easily. I mean, he again, if you give him more touches, uh, and he touches, he plays the entire season, bro. That his numbers would have been insane. So he checks the production box. Okay. Now as for his age, he's only 26 years old. This is a 26 year old running back in his prime. Okay. He checks that box easily, easily checks that box. Now, does he play a position of value? No, 
the running back is the most replaceable position in the National Football League. I com I keep the same energy. I told y'all that with Christian McCaffrey, and I'm telling y'all that with Deontay Foreman. This is the most replaceable position in the NFL, okay? However, however, I'll say this. There aren't too many guys. There aren't too many six foot two, uh, 240 pound running backs out there, okay? So a little bit different uh, with him in that he he he, has, he possesses the size, pause, uh, that just guys don't have, okay? So position of value, no, but I think he brings an attribute. He has attributes in the position that other guys just don't have, okay? Now, injury history. So let's talk about his injury history. Just a word of caution, okay? I didn't put a check mark. I didn't put the red X simply because he's, his injuries are in the past, right? He had a torn Achilles uh, with on his rookie year with the Houston Texans. They let him go. He ended up signing with the Colts. The Colts ended up uh, cutting him um, or, because, or putting him on injury reserve because he had a torn bicep, okay? So torn bicep, torn Achilles, those injuries were in the past. He's the I think the in, the torn bicep injury happened in 2019. The torn Achilles happened in 2017. So these injuries are in the past. He went with, to the Texans, or excuse me, went to the Titans. Uh, did did a great job there. He ended up going to the Falcons. Didn't play much, and then went to the Titans again. So he's been healthy. He's been healthy for the past couple of years. After the stint with the tight, the second stint with the Titans, he ends up come coming to the Carolina Panthers and plays a full season. And he got a couple of nicks, bruises, and nicks in there, but he, he's okay. Uh, over the over the you know the course of the season, he he held up. And the thing about Foreman is he's built for this contact. He's built for this. He's six foot two, two hundred and forty pounds. Okay, he's he's a battering ram. Okay, so I think he can take care. He can take care of himself. And I think he over the course. He's shown he's been healthy, and I, I, I'm not saying that he's he, he's completely, you know, not injury prone. Uh, I'm not calling him injury prone either. I'm just saying there's a word of caution when it comes to his injury history because there are some concerns. He has a couple of major injuries. All right. Now his asking price. This is where it gets interesting. This is where I'm about to pop because he's only, the, the, according to Spot Track, he's only going to command a $3.4 million average annual salary. That's much different for, from a Christian McCaffrey $16 million a year contract or whatever he's getting, wherever he got paid, it was up there. Much different, same production, and you cut that by almost 80%, bro. Like, it's it's crazy to me. So, um, and this is according to Spot Track. This is not me making this up. Spot Track has a calculated market value based on a lot of things, based on similar production, age, all that good stuff. And they come, they came up with a $3.4 million average salary. Now they did say it was a one-year deal. I would give him a little bit longer than a one-year deal. He's 26. I would give him a deal that gets him to he's about 30. You all you know that you know when, when running backs hit 30 years old, that's when they typically crash. So I would give him a two or three year deal. Maybe I, I would probably give him a little bit more than $3.4 million per year. I would probably raise it to about just under five i wouldn't go over five million dollars per year for a running back because guess what if he doesn't want that i'll just find another six foot two 240 pound running back somewhere else whether it's the draft undrafted free agency there's a running back out there somewhere and truth be told i think frank wright can go out there and find another running back okay i don't know who's out there frank wright loves to run the football that's why i think this is a match made in heaven. Frank Reich, Deonta Foreman, I think it's, it's something that's gonna work out. But back to his market value, I think the 3.4 million is more than enough. I'd, I'd give that in a heartbeat. I would not go over uh, 5 million for his asking price. And so I think that's, that's a green check, that's easy. You check that box easily, okay? Now, is the production replaceable? Yes, his production is replaceable. This is why you get the red X. His production is replaceable. Placeable. You can find another running back to do what Deonta Foreman does. Again, a little different. Six foot two, 245, 250 pounds. They don't grow on trees. Um, so that's why I would be inclined to re-sign him because I just don't think you can find a guy like that out on the market easily. You can find it, but again, you can go out there. You're going to do some digging. Um, all right. So with all that said, with all that said, I think you must re-sign Deonta Foreman. So with Deonta Foreman and Frank Reich, I think this is a match made in heaven. Frank Reich wants to run the football. Let me be clear. He's an innovative offensive mind, 
but he likes to run the football. And in the National Football League, I don't care what it is. You talk about Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Even they run the football. You have to be able to run the football in the National Football League. And last year, Steve Wilkes, I give him all the credit in the world, he discovered, he struck lightning with Foreman and Chuba Hubbard. He got them the football early and often. And now it's time for Frank Reich to, to, to double down. Get these guys back together. Thunder, Lightning, Slash, Dad, whatever you want to call them. Bring these two guys back together. It's not going to cost you a lot. $5 million a year max. Let's make this thing happen. Okay, give them a three-year deal. $5 million per, a little under $5 million per year. Let's make that thing happen. Shout out to Deontay Foreman, man. Now, with that said, I love Deontay Foreman, man. I think, again, wonderful pick. I think he's going to be fantastic. I think he's going to be able to be a 1,000-yard running back under Wright. And I think Chuba Hubbard also will be fantastic under Frank Wright. This is a very good, this is a fit that works, okay? I know the scheme. It's going to work. Get these guys back together, all right? Now, with that said, man, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, get in the comments. Let me know what you think. In the comments, should we sign them? Should we let them walk? What's the contract you're going to give them? In the comments, let me know what y'all going to do, all right? Um, with that said, man, let's let's roll a quick highlight video of Deontay Foreman, man. Hopefully, he doesn't get flagged, but let's run this quick highlight video. Enjoy. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.